Let's make some Heinrichs made channel rounds. I know, I have some, but I'm running low. So let's make some more. In today's video, I'm gonna use the two auto 3kg electric furnace. If you wanna get into metal casting and wanna support the channel, I do have an affiliate link in the description below where you can grab a two auto 3kg furnace for yourself. Now that the furnace is loaded with the aluminum, it's time to make the mold. I'm actually using a previous coin, one of my leftover Heinrichs made channel rounds to make a sand mold to cast more of these. Once the pattern is placed inside the cast, put on some talcum powder and that will aid in releasing the sand from the pattern. So the sand does not stick. Continue adding sand all the way to the top and continue ramming it down with a ramming hammer and scrape off any access that you have and flip it over so we can now add on the next side of the flask. Now, because there's no draft on this pattern, I did have to cut away a groove surrounding the pattern and cutting the pouring basin as well. With that done, I'm going to add more talcum powder to the sand and then add more sand on top, compacting this sand as well, just like I did the other side and scraping off any excess from the top. Remove half of the pattern and then take a good look at it to make sure the pattern came out good. And if it did, tap on the pattern and remove it by flipping it over on its side. And now continue carving out the other side of the sprue. Check on the furnace and make sure the aluminum is molten. And if it is, it is now ready to pour into the sand molds. I have to refill the aluminum because I did use most of the aluminum from the crucible. So now I can do this, wait for this to melt, and then pour a few more sand molds. It's been about 15 minutes and these molds are now ready to be opened up and see how the coins came out. And sure enough, they came out perfect. I really like the design I made on these coins. This is probably one of my favorite coins that I've made as of yet. So now that both of the molds are opened, I'm gonna just scrape away any of the sand using a wire brush. And then I'm gonna remove these from the casting flask and bring them over to the vise and start cutting off of any of extra aluminum like the sprue and sanding away or filing away any of the breakout that I had surrounding the coin. Once all the extra aluminum has been filed away and scraped off, now it's a good time to take this moment to really take a good look at them before taking a wire wheel to the face of both of the coins to really give it a polish more or less. These coins were already pretty smooth to begin with so just putting a wire wheel to them really gives them an additional shine without even having to actually sand them down. You can see here how shiny and smooth they look without actually taking a piece of sandpaper to them. I did not use any sanding whatsoever on any of these coins. It was strictly the wire brush. Well, wire wheel on my Dremel tool. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button and leave a comment below. If you're interested in one of these, blast me out an email and I'll try to get one to you.